better not duck me, son. <laughs> What's cracking, everybody? It's your boy Armin with Real Talk. Another video for you guys, man. Some more boxing news. Recently, my guy Keith, one time Thurman, better not duck me, son. Threw some shots, threw some jabs, bro. Towards Terrence Bud Crawford, two-time undisputed world champion of the world, bro. Talking about Terrence Bud Crawford has never fought a true champion, bro. Outrageous jabs being thrown. And on top of that, I started thinking, not only are you throwing shots at Terrence Crawford, now you're throwing shots at Errol Spence, pretty much saying that this man was never a real champion, bro. Which, um, Keith, actually, you were one of my uh, favorite fighters to watch back in the days, but you've been hurt half of your career, bro. I pulled up uh, Keith Thurman's uh, resume. I do got to say it's better than Bud's, bro. But hear me out. That's not Bud's fault, actually, bro. Keith Thurman's best fights was Danny Garcia, Manny Pacquiao, Robert Guerrero, Luis uh, Colazzo, and Sean Porter. Now, uh, Terrence Crawford fought Sean Porter. We saw what he did to him, bro. Stopped him, basically. You know, his father ended the fight, and that man went into retirement. Keith, you had a rough and tough fight with Sean Porter. Now, Sean Porter was on his way out, but, man... Terrence Craw uh, Crawford's performance, you can't take away from that. Also, Terrence Crawford wanted to fight Danny Garcia. The fight was never never made because of political reasons or, or whatnot. Terrence Crawford wanted to fight Manny Pacquiao. Uh, Manny Pacquiao ended up fighting you, and he actually beat you, bro. So all these dudes, Terrence Crawford actually wanted to fight, bro. Wanted to fight, but never got the opportunity to fight them. Better not duck me, son. You know what I'm saying is you uh, used to say to Pali Malinaji. So your resume might be better than than Terrence Crawford's, bro. But um, Terrence Crawford, man, he just had a rough, rough path in his uh, boxing career, I feel, because a lot of these dudes were on one side. Well, pretty much all of them, bro. And none of them really wanted to fight him. And it was really hard, hard to uh, make the fight fights, maybe even for, you know, boxing political reasons, bro. But to go and say that this man never uh, beat a true champion, you're discrediting Kell Brook, discrediting Sean Porter and um, Errol Spence, bro. Errol Spence and, and Errol Spence is still to me one of the one of the best fighters that we have today, bro. And we saw what he did to him. And not to mention uh, Jeff Horn. Even though the the, the decision was kind of shaky, bro, beat Manny Pacquiao, but Manny Pacquiao beat you, bro. Went on to say that if it was him in that ring uh, the night that he fought Spence, it would not be the same fight. So pretty much what I think Keith is doing is he's trying to push Terrence Crawford's buttons. He also said he doesn't care if he doesn't want the fight. It's, it's his business, blah, blah. But I think he's um, trying to use tactical moves to push Terrence Crawford's uh, uh, buttons and get a fight out of it because a lot of years terence crawford was calling you out bro and you with your own mouth said i am not interested in terence crawford i do not want to fight terence crawford better not duck me son and keith thurman like i said bro he was one of the most exciting fighters to watch bro but you're talking all that smack you've been hurt a lot of your career bro yeah i know you don't you don't duck no one or, or whatever but why were you I, it seemed like at one moment you were ducking crawford bro just like the same way you felt about Polly, bro you know what i'm saying the arrow spence you know he promised crawford the shot bro and he was a man of his word bro he helped make the fight happen crawford even gave him props for it bro he even gave him props for it bro and after the fight this man made no excuses which made me respect this man even more bro even more he's really the only one that really said you know what let's just do it bro but you had opportunities to fight crawford too you didn't do it and now i mean i don't blame crawford he's on top of the top of the world when it comes you know when it comes to the i guess the 147 154 division i guess you know two-time undisputed world champion man he's 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 up there now bro he's up there and you got to give him all the credit for the world and now you know if he feels like back in the days he was getting blackballed bro he's like payback is a mother now he feels like, well, you know what? I don't need to fight you guys, bro. I don't need to fight you guys. I mean, Crawford could go ahead and uh, rematch Spence. And if he gets a Charlo fight, he gets the Charlo fight, you know, in, in the future. And he retires, bro. Hall of Fame career, bro. He's a, he's, to me, he's a Hall of Famer, bro. He's one of the best that we've ever seen, bro. Yeah, sure, he doesn't have the greatest resume, but you can't blame that man for that, bro. He wanted to fight everybody. He wanted to fight Keith Thurman. He finally got the Spence fight. He, um... He wanted to fight Danny Garcia. He wanted to fight Manny Pacquiao. If 
For one reason or another, these fights were not being made, bro, and we cannot blame this man for that. But everybody that he did get in the ring with, he won in dominant fashion, bro. He won in dominant fashion. So Keith Thurman, I think you're playing politics, trying to get this fight, bro. And at this point, really, like how the ball was in your hands back then, bro, Terrence is like, bro, I didn't forget that. I kept those receipts. Now the ball's in my hands, and I feel like I don't want to fight you anymore, bro. I feel like I don't want to give you that opportunity and that payday. And that's how it goes, bro. I feel like Terrence Crawford is like, you know what? I'm going to get the last laugh. But this is my thoughts, my opinions. Uh, Keith Thurman versus Terrence Crawford. Would I, would I like to see it? Hell yeah, I would like to see it. Because I feel like Keith Thurman does have the style to make it an interesting fight. Because he does have that lateral movement and he is athletic, bro. Which I feel like is the, is the type of fighter you need to give Bud his, um, his best challenge, I guess. Bro, I'm not saying that Keith Thurman's going to go in there and, and beat Bud. But I'm saying it would be an interesting fight. It would be an exciting fight just because of Thurman's athleticism, bro. And he does have some pop. But uh, Thurman, it looks like Crawford is kind of getting the last laugh right here, bro. But this is my thoughts and my opinions. It's your boy Armin with Real Talk. You guys stay blessed and safe out there, man. I'm going to catch you on the next video. Peace.